Hi everyone, Jason with Happy Tales. Down here is Hadrian and Sienna being sleepy sleepy on this wonderful beautiful weekend. Believe it or not we just had snow but if you looked outside you couldn't tell. No. So that is a nice thing about uh, Colorado in the springtime is it snows it's gone usually that same day. So today what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about these uh, Hepvo valve kits. Uh, basically what this is is it's a p-trap for a uh, low profile area that you can't get a p-trap in mostly it goes into shower areas now the reason that we're making a video about this is a lot of times in your shower um, you'll start having a low flow a low drain issue and people will apt to go get one of these guys um, you can get one of these from your local big box store uh, we'll throw a link down well you know what I won't even put a link because I'll tell you why um, as you can see this is what they look like and they have barbs on them about every inch or so they work fantastic in a p-trap because you can kind of come down it'll bend up and it'll bend back down and you can get whatever you want so on that note maybe I will put them down in the description for your sinks um, the reason that we don't want to use these guys on um, the Hepvos, and I'll show you why here in just a, just a minute, but let's go and we'll head into the bathroom real quick and I'll show you where ours is, what it looks like when it's installed, and what the issue is. So come on, we'll go ahead back here. Okay, so here's our wonderful, huge, notorious bathroom. Actually, it is fairly large for an RV bathroom, but the shower is about half the size of our old shower, so it's taken some getting used to. So what we have is we have just our st standard stand stall wow that was a, a mouthful of <laughs> th 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 th. Um, and what we've noticed about every six months or so um, we start having a, a flow issue so we'll notice that we'll start getting standing water in the shower and it won't drain as fast as we feel that it should what we've done to mitigate and i'll take this from beth here um, we've put a a catcher down here you know and then you have your strainer and then below the strainer you have kind of the the um, cross on your drain so you have the the crisscross and as we get older um, we start losing hair um, you know not me because I keep it short but Beth lose, loses hair pretty frequently uh, it's just a natural thing then you have your um, body oils you've got the grit you've got your uh, body washes the shampoo you have all that residue that kind of is building up and and just compiling into your drains so what we do is uh, well let me back up let me show you where the the drain actually is this hepvo so you kind of have a better understanding of where it is and what it is and i will put one of these guys in the link these are fantastic if you don't have one you should it is a they're anywhere from like a seven to one to a 10 in one. This one's an 11 in one, and I will have a link in the description. But uh, we'll pull off this access panel, which is right down here in the bottom. Um, there's four screws. That guy comes out real simple. I'll pull those out, and then uh, we'll show you what's underneath here. Okay, so we have pulled the screws off. Um, now, just like every other access panel that you will find, whether it is a million dollar coach or a $25,000 coach, you'll notice that behind these access panels, it looks like it's been butchered by um, a one tooth saw. That doesn't change, they're all the same across the board. So don't be surprised when you pull back and it just looks like total garbage, okay? That being said, I will grab this again. I do have the flashlight down there to kind of show you right off hand and this is probably going to end up going sideways so we'll warn you ahead of time. So let me see if I can't bend this guy up. All right so right here is that Hepvo. That right here is the drain that comes straight down out of the shower and then the valve goes over and then we kind of go down and then that'll go straight and then it's got a 90 that drops straight into a, the gray tank. So that's what it looks like. And like I said, it is literally on the bottom of this shower pan. And now I'll go and we'll talk a little bit about why you don't want to use one of those awesome little 
I don't know, plastic snakes, uh, drain snakes, and you'll see why here in just a sec. All right, so we're back here in the, the kitchen, and that's just easier because we're a wide open space. We have two different sizes here, and the reason is is because there are two different sizes in an RV, typically. You have an inch and a quarter and an inch and a half. Now, that's the, the piping diameter, so um, be careful when you order these. Measure them. Make sure you get the right one because we're talking a quarter inch, which isn't much until you need to use it, then it's a lot. So what we have in ours is inch and a half, and the reason I have two is, well basically for this video i wanted to show the difference these guys cost probably i think about 40 bucks a piece um we'll have a link as well in the description now here is the main uh bolts so to speak this is our these guys are made by rec pro they're fantastic but if you look on the inside you can see that there's a little diaphragm in there now that is the outbound side this would be the inbound you can kind of see how that all works now the reason that we don't want to use one of these guys is let me show you if we come to slide this guy in and we look right here okay that looks fine right but what happens when that happens see see what it's doing to that diaphragm and why that is important because water will flow this way gases will flow this way as soon as you tear this little diaphragm in here that allows those gases to come back into your coach. So what are you going to smell? You're going to smell everything that is into your gray tank. And if you have a combination gray tank other than just your shower, you could have your laundry going in there. You could have your sink going in there. You could have your bathroom sinks all going into the same gray tank. And even though it's not a black tank, it still gets stagnant. It still has stuff in there that's growing and is uh, quite putrid on the smell. So however... We much like these guys for cleaning out pee traps, especially in your residential. Uh, you know, I really am torn about putting these in the description because they are great for what they are intended for. But if anybody was to use those in the um, application here, um, it would tear these up. And you don't want to tear these up because they work really good. Now, what we do use, what do we use? I probably should have shown you when we were in the shower. But so let's go back to the bathroom real quick and I'll show you what we use to clean these guys out. Okay, so we are back in the shower and what do we use? Well, you won't believe it is a miracle tool. It is awesome. Let me show it to you. $5 plunger. Can you believe it? Now, we have a dedicated plunger just for the shower. Um, and it, <laughs> we know which one is what. We only use it for this shower. Basically, we move that out of the way, and just like a plunger works, you just plunge it down, and what that does is it forces the water back through there. It cleans out that uh, soap scum and everything that is on that diaphragm. What happens is over time, that diaphragm that will build up with that soap scum. And again, make sure you have plenty of water in here. If you have the problem of it not draining, you already have plenty of water in there to push that through. And just that little bit of air and water pressure blows out that soap scum, blows out that hair, and presto changeo, everything flows perfectly again. So that's what we use is this handy dandy little tool right here. Who would have thought, huh? All right. Okay, so in conclusion, good things to use for these guys are plungers. Bad things to use for these guys are these little snakes. So do yourself a favor and probably don't even use them. Again, I will put them down there just just in case but these guys are are awesome they're they work for the, what they're intended to um, if they do ever wear out or if you're buying a used or you happen to mess up and use one of these guys they are very simple to reinstall you have a um, 90 degree angle that comes out of your um, well I should go like this it comes out of your drain this guy goes in here like so just make sure that you have drain water flow and then your diaphragm flowing out properly there is a mark on here i'll have best zoom in real quick so you can see the arrow which flows which direction so this and then this guy will go into your black abs plastic that is your drain uh drain pan already so super simple to put in again remember 
Where these guys are used is tight confining spaces. So easy to put in might be hard to get to. So that's always the challenge of being able to get these on. Um, I typically don't use any type of pipe dope on here. Uh, you could use pipe dope or you could use Teflon on the threads, especially to your ABS. But I've always found that these things, they come with little black gaskets on there. Um, and it's usually a pretty snug fit as it is. But basically the gist of this video is don't use these guys on these little diaphragms because you will rip them and you will have gas coming into your coach. So if you start smelling stuff coming out of your shower, good chance that this guy is already ripped. So if you guys got any questions, let us know and uh, we'll see you guys next week. And as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next week.